Well, good morning. This is Pastor Marvin Osborne with First Baptist Church of Birmingham, Ohio. We're talking uh, this week about persecution and the idea of that being blessed uh, by God. He goes, happy are you. Because why are we happy when, when we go through persecution? Because now the word that we say we believe is, an, or is now being uh, broadcast to those who do not believe. And because they do not believe, they na they're now attacking you. You see, as I said earlier, we're like that fireman who runs into the, uh, the house. We hear a, a woman screaming and, and the choice is whether we're going to save ourselves and say, hey, they need to find their own way out or we're going to run in there and do the job that we've been trained to do. The Bible is very clear in Ephesians 2, 8, and 9, For by grace are you saved through faith and not of yourselves. It is the gift of God, not of works, lest any man should boast. He, and he goes on to say, for we are created in Christ Jesus for good works. God created us to reach people. Matthew 28, 19, and 20. Go ye therefore and preach the word. You were called to share Jesus with this lost and dying world. And, uh, and so as, as, as a s saved man or a woman, this idea of of, of, of being fr frightened of losing our, our life for Jesus Christ it, it is not normal. It is abnormal when it comes to a walking with Jesus. Remember Paul said he would rather be absent from the body and to be with Christ. And, you know, it's an idea that, um, that it, 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 this world is fine. But this is, this is not the end, chief end of life. We're trying to hold on to something that we can't keep. We're all going to die unless the, the upper taker comes. We all have a, uh, an appointment with the undertaker. Where none of us are getting out of this alive unless the rapture of the church takes place. And there are worse things in life than dying for Jesus Christ. And I came across this a story about... Um, uh, about a man named Pastor Martin Nimoler. And I'm probably saying his name wrong. Pastor Nimoler, he, he opposed the Nazis during World War II and, um, and uh, ended up in a concentration camp. And uh, so he, he understood the evil that was taking place. He stood against the evil. He called it out as sin. And because of that, he was arrested and thrown into a concentration camp. And when someone commented to his father how terrible it was for his son, Pastor Nimoler, uh, to, uh, to be in a concentration camp, Nimoler's father said it this way. He says, yes, it is a terrible thing to have a son in a concentration camp. There would be something more terrible for us if God had needed a faithful martyr, and our Martin was unwilling to do it. See, that's a biblical perspective on life, isn't it? You see, if God needed a martyr to stand against the Nazis, he called on Martin, and Martin answered the call. I believe God is calling martyrs out in the world today. I believe he's calling for you and I to stand against the evil of this world, to call sin, sin, to not be afraid to call homosexuality an abomination, to, not, uh, to stand against this transgenderism and not use the, the, the gender neutral terms that this world wants us to use, to, to stand against the, the murder of children. And you go through this, all that's going on in the world today, and, and, and I dare say, I don't know, probably a tenth of what's happening. Uh, but whatever, however God wants us, uh, reveals to us, you and I need to stand against that sin. Remember, it's what cost Martin, I mean, uh, John the Baptist, his life when he called out Herod's sin. And it may cost us our life. So what? So what? There are worse things in life 
um, than dying for Jesus Christ. As a matter of fact, you can say that there's a great reward. Uh, remember when we talked about the five crowns, that one of them was a martyr's crown for, for those who, um, who stand and lose their life for Jesus Christ. I prayed for that crown for my life. Um, I don't want to die doing something stupid. I'm looking at my cell phone and and uh, not paying attention and get hit by a car, you know, crossing the street. You know, that's stupid. I don't want to die that way. I want to die for Jesus. How about you? Martin's dad understood that. Do we understand that? He says, rejoice and be exceeding glad, for great is your reward in heaven, for so persecuted they the prophets which were before you. Nothing, nothing, absolutely nothing this world has to offer compares to the reward that lies just beyond the grave. Let's stand. Let's speak up. Let's do what God wants us to do. Let's be a voice of Christ in this world today. Amen. This is Pastor Marvin Osborne saying God loves you and I love you as well. And I'll talk to you soon.